holy volcano. Last night was quite a night. I uh, woke up around 9 o'clock to a 5.3 earthquake, which felt pretty interesting up here in the treehouse. And thereafter, experienced at least 10 uh, earthquakes that I woke up to. And it was actually kind of interesting. It wasn't bad. Just all part of the experience. I think Pele might have been angry that I rode the bus up yesterday. I'm ready to uh, tackle another 20 or 30 miles today. Today I should get to stay in a pretty nice place because nobody was really wanting to stay right on the uh, active volcano area. Let's go get some breakfast and hit the road. feeling pretty good this morning. It's not raining on me and the back doesn't hurt. I got a good night's sleep and it's a really pretty road. I just had a guy on a sweet scooter compliment me on my bike. Uh, everybody on the island seems like they're really receptive to bike tours. It, uh, it's a pretty positive place to be on a bicycle. Well, I'm full of food and hitting the road. I talked to a few locals. They said there is nothing in between uh, here and Pahala. They call it the desert. So I'm gonna be going through a section of what uh, is pretty much gonna be nothing. But I got some extra drinks and some snacks and I'm ready to tackle it. Hopefully the road's not too busy. Right now, it's beautiful. That was a really enjoyable section of road. No cars, other cyclists, but back onto the main freeway for about 20 miles. That's okay. It's not raining. It's not hot. And uh, apparently I am not supposed to stop for the next 12 miles. We'll see about that, buddy. All right, this is probably the one you've all been waiting for. I'm headed towards the active volcano area. I slept in it last night, but now I'm headed right to it. Uh, told me I can't stop for the next 12 miles, so hopefully I can just keep pedaling. <laughs> we'll see. Wish me luck. Coming out, time for the brim again. That's not that deserty. Oh wow. There was just a bunch of cracks forming in the road back there. They had it all coned off and it seemed like uh, they really didn't want me to stop and check it out. But this whole place is just falling apart under my wheels. Hopefully I make it through. All right, I've gone full hippie in the middle of the Volcano National Park. Aloha shirt, here we go. Let's hit the road one more time. I'm coming up on the campground that I'd originally hoped to stay at. That would have been pretty nice. But with how hard it rained last night and the crazy earthquakes, I'm kind of glad I wasn't camping right in the middle of the volcano. Everything works out for a reason. Good thing the wind's at my back. Cause, uh, oops, I just rode downhill for a minute. Uh, got a little bit turned around with all the bog and the trees. And uh, that's okay. I'm headed in the right direction again. Yeah, 
I'll try. Yet another one of my camping options, closed down by the volcano. Thank goodness for Airbnb, or this trip wouldn't have happened. This may be the top. Top of the volcano. Ready to head downhill from here. Woo! It's just desert. Nothing but desert. So Google, in its all-knowing wisdom, says that this would be a much better path to take than the smooth, flat, wide-shouldered downhill of the highway. Well, Mr. Google, I think I'm going to take my chances on the highway, because that road looks like crap. I have been coasting for about 10 miles. 10 minutes, I can't even tell. I've been coasting for a while now, and I just thought I'd stop and take a break. I'm really enjoying today. It's secluded and remote. I think this is a great stretch of road to ride between Volcano and Ocean View. And I'm enjoying myself today. I'm here at one of the desert trails that I'd planned on checking out. Uh, yet another closed, area, but I guess it's for my own safety. made it out of the desert. I'm down to about a thousand feet above sea level and I've only got another five miles or so to go before I get to my cabin. Pahala seems like a pretty cool town. Not a lot here. Kind of reminds me of my hometown. Simple little place, but nice. Only a little ways till the cabin. That just looks like the place. Let's go see if we can find where I'm staying. Still can't quite figure out where I'm supposed to be staying. Uh, there's nothing very labeled. Maybe I'm getting closer. Well, after an hour wandering around, I think I found it. Uh, reservation for Kevin coaching. Close enough. This must be the place. Yeah, for how big of a pain in the butt it was to find the place, it's pretty nice. Honestly, really nice. Looks like really big. place usually goes for a hundred bucks a night. I got it for half price. It's uh, it's almost a little weird. I kind of feel like I should have six other people here with me. I kind of like my small accommodations better, but I think I'll make the most of it. Get unpacked, take some of this bike gear off, and go find some more food. I made a quick trip to the grocery store. Small thing of milk, the smallest thing they had. A hot pocket, a chicken bake, and a candy bar. Uh, keep in mind, these were the healthiest things uh, contained within this tiny eight by 10 store. So, I'm gonna turn that into a meal. Settle in. 